My name's Amelia Chamberlain and I'm the director here at Harbor Village, uh, Harbor Village Museum. The museum was founded by Harvey and Bernice Jones back in 1968. Our theme is pioneer daily life between the 1850s and the 1920s. We have over 25 historic log cabins that have been situated here on the grounds and several other buildings so that we have over 100 displays that people can look at. We've been adding in interactive exhibits for our families that have children. Families can go inside of the cabin, they can sit down at the uh, kitchen table, they can cook on a wood stove or in the fireplace, they can crawl up the ladder into the loft. We've also added in a kid's nursery so they can see some old-fashioned toys up close and personal and actually play with a few of them. And our schoolhouse, we modified it so you can actually go and sit down at some of the old-time school desks and write on a slate with soapstone and experience what might have been like to sit in a classroom from the 1880s, 1890s, something like that. And then we have a whole series of exhibits that are collections of things, for example, phones. Kids come through and look at the phones and you can tell by the smudge marks on the glass which time period they're from because, or what's the most popular. But they look at that and then they start looking at the other phones and they say, oh, you, these were phones? And, and start thinking about how they worked and how, how it was different from today. We're very mindful that this was Cherokee, you know, Indian Territory and Cherokee lands. We want to honor all of the history of this area. I'd like visitors who go away with a better understanding of the past and how, how their lives today connect to that past. By knowing what happened in the past, we kind of make decisions today or have better understanding of why we are where we are today. That's one thing, and then, of course, the heritage of this area and the beauty of this area, too.